Hi everyone, this is Hardy. In this lecture, we will take a broad look at the art of machine design and discuss some key guiding principles. Machine paintings, which in this course encompasses vehicles, robots, and weapons, are most commonly used as either concept art or promotional illustrations for movies, video games, or tabletop games, just to name a few. This entire facet of concept art is also referred to as hard surface. Along with character, environment, and creature design, machine design is one of the central pillars of a concept artist's skill set and perhaps the most in demand. If you're like me and you grew up filling sketchbooks with X-Wings and Terminator drawings, then a lot of this course will be like hanging out with an old friend. I mean, come on, this stuff is just cool. A successful machine artist is able to pair a creative and effective design with a beautiful, realistic, and compelling rendering. Design and rendering are the two legs that this subject stands on, and one cannot stand without the other. So, how do we define success? What makes a machine painting cool? Well, here is a checklist of core goals to keep in mind. Great machine paintings capture the following. A recognizable role or function. We need to know what this machine does as soon as we look at it. Is it a utility machine or a war machine? The features that we design into our machines need to guide the viewer to the correct conclusions about function. Solid design, both visual and engineering. Our machines need to be visually beautiful in order to capture the viewer's attention. We accomplish this by keeping design fundamentals and shape language in mind. In terms of engineering, we need to use a lot of common sense to make sure that our machines seem like they could work in real life. We'll go into this in more detail later on. Personality. No boring machines. Even something heavy and utilitarian can and should look cool. Since machine design can be so wide open, there is a whole world of possibilities that the artists draw upon for inspiration. Try giving your machine an animal or human characteristic. A spider-like mech or a hulking, snail-like armored vehicle are just a few examples. The more personality your machines have, the better. So, keep these general guiding principles in mind as we move forward. 